Hi, my name's Julie from Statewide Appliance Spares. From time to time, you might find that your vacuum cleaner has lost suction power. Quite often, there's a simple fix to get your vacuum cleaner up and running again. Before you give up on your vacuum cleaner and replace it with a new one, try our simple fixes. Let's start with the vacuum cleaner dust bag. When this is full, there will be a loss of suction. Keep an eye on the indicator light and replace the bag when required. Change your vacuum cleaner bag and test again to see if suction has improved. Bagless vacuums should be emptied after every use. For cordless vacuums, you may need to empty these more than once during a vacuuming session. This will help maintain your vacuum's cleaning performance. Next, let's look at the filter. A dirty or clogged filter will restrict airflow and result in a loss of suction. Exhaust and air filters should be replaced periodically. Washable filters, such as this one, can be removed and washed under the tap. Allow to fully dry for at least 24 hours before using again. Next step is to check for blockages. Blocked airflow is going to significantly decrease your vacuum suction power. Disconnect the hose, cleaning wand and suction head. Next, inspect these tools to see if there are any visible obstructions. You may need a torch to have a thorough look. If you see any obstructions, you can use a thin rod or even bend a wire clothes hanger to gently push through or pull out any blockages. Once any blockages are cleared, test your vacuum again. If none of this works, check the brush roll on your suction head to see if it spins freely. Over time, you'll notice it can be tangled with hair, pet hair, dust and fibres. These obstructions will limit your vacuum suction power. To prevent damage from clogging, this should be checked and cleaned regularly. Usually, you can pull away most of the tangled mess or use some scissors to gently snip away. In some models, the roller brush can be removed for easier cleaning access. As you're inspecting the suction head on your floor tool, don't forget the lever on the side which adjusts the brush height. This can be raised accordingly to suit the floor you are vacuuming. Lastly, if you have worked through all these fixes and you're still experiencing a loss of suction, the cause may be the motor. Replacing a motor requires some more advanced skills. Your best bet is to get in touch with a qualified service technician who can safely and efficiently do the job for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more DIY repair and maintenance videos.